And at that rate, it will take more than 15 years to process all the cases. I will my more thing give way. Happy to give way. <coughs> my constituent, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Edward. And um, my, cons my constituent, Lisa Shaw, who is a BBC presenter in the North East, uh, died of the, after getting a blood clot as a result of the vaccine, uh, leaving her, their young son without a mother and her uh, partner, Gareth, um, absolutely devastated. Now, he came to see me in my constituency surgery um, a very long time ago, and months and months ago, and they're still waiting. And there are a lot of these people who will be in situations um, where they've got huge financial commitments, maybe families, maybe they're unable to work if they haven't died but are disabled. And does uh, my honourable friend agree with me that we, the, the speed is of the essence here? We've seen recent scandals, such as the contaminated blood scandal, which has taken decades to resolve. Isn't it right that we need to learn the lessons of those and actually get these payments out to people as quickly as possible? Yes, I, I agree entirely with my old friend. I think he puts it very well. And I think it's important not just that we have the right scheme, and I don't believe yet that we do, but also, as he says, that when that scheme is in place, it pays out quickly. And it's clear that the scheme in place at the moment is not doing that. And it simply isn't acceptable or feasible for families in severe financial distress to wait the length of time they're being asked to, to wait and the example that he gives is a good one. The example he gives is also uh, important in another respect, because there's something else that